Okay, well, this is an aquaponics update. Been working all day. Haven't made a whole lot of progress. But I have one of the systems set up. No piping run yet. But here is going to be the fish tank. That's this bottom part right here. You can see. And the grow bed sets above it. Came up with an ingenious engineering design. And then I drilled little holes in these boards right here. The wire cage fits into the little holes. The grow bed sits on the boards. It's halfway on the fish tank and halfway off. It'll drain directly into the fish tank via the auto siphon through this hole. Not exactly sure how yet, but I'll figure it out. But I'm not going to cut another hole in my grow bed. I'm going to utilize this hole. I'm going to seal it off somehow. Not real sure. I'll figure it out. And then utilize that to drain. It'll drain directly into there. Then, this front portion, I have them sitting on some 4x4 four four posts that are in the ground. Came up with this ingenious engineering design in that I cut grooves in the top here where this sits down in. So that's going to be solid and going to be able to take a lot of weight. I hope. Anyway. Yeah, it should. I may have to scoot this fish tank back about two or three inches because I'm sure not going to pull the post up and move them two or three inches. Okay, so then you can imagine I'm going to have the exact opposite of this right on this side. It's going to be another fish tank down here, a grow bed sitting on top of it that will come up right to here. I'll have two more posts It'll go in the ground right here. It'll set half on, half off. That grow bed will drain into that fish tank. The pump is going to be in this fish tank. Pump's going to be right here. PVC pipe's going to come up, up, up here, and shoot over that way. There's going to be small holes to drain out of the PVC pipe, so it will drain back into the fish tank, giving it oxygen. It will drain into this grow bed. It will drain into this grow bed. It will drain into this fish tank. The fish tank that's going to sit over here is going to be about seven inches taller. There it is right there in the process of cutting it. And this right here is one of the reasons I didn't make very much progress today. I was trying to utilize some leftover things I had on hand for the support system and it wasn't going to work. So this is my other fish tank. I've got it cut on three sides. I'm hoping to get this final side, just the metal cut, if I can get that far today. That'll be some progress. You see this fish tank is going to be about seven inches taller, so I'm going to have an overflow PVC pipe that comes out of this taller one and goes over and drains back into the shorter one. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I'll figure it out. I, um, that way, we have a complete system. Only one pump. The pump goes up, goes over all the grow beds, plus it will go over this into this fish tank again too. 
and when this fish tank, the two grow beds, drain into the two fish tanks. And then when this bigger fish tank gets too full, it overflows back into the smaller fish tank. I haven't figured out the quantity of water I will need and all that stuff. Eventually I will need more grow beds for the volume of fish that I will have. But I have some ways I can expand that. That'll be for down the road. So, hope you've enjoyed this update. Oh, and while we're at it, we might as well look at the broccoli that's growing. Right there's my best three or four broccoli plants right there. I got some right there that are growing. Not getting any broccoli heads on it yet. But uh, they're still growing.